Hello YouTube modeling community. Mike here, Mike's Miniature Motors. It's Thursday again guys, so here we go with this week's uh, Throwback Thursday. Um, yeah, I actually started this car in the in the late 80s. Um, I had a hobby store and when I was I was living in Waco at the time, I had a hobby store going out of business. Um, last weekend they were in business, everything was half off and I kind of took advantage of that. I didn't have any in the you know any 120th scale cars at the time or any formula one cars i just got this because it was a tamiya car it was a ferrari and uh you know I, I just i liked it you know i was still pretty new to what i would call serious modeling at the time and uh, uh just just wanted to have it just cause like i said it was to me a kit you know i was just starting to work for my make a living for myself and uh supporting myself and and uh, just want to take advantage of the sale and, and you know, get a kit that was, uh, you know, normally a higher price kit. So anyway, um, this is, uh, if you don't know what it is, it's the, uh, it's a, to me, I already said that, a Ferrari 312 T3. Um, you know, back in the 80s or when I first bought this kit, I was, I, this was before I really started getting into decals. I was really kind of intimidated by the decals. Um, I had painted the body and I had painted the, I remember I painted the chassis. I had, uh, put the block together back in the day and, uh, uh you know, painted the chassis, the chassis aluminum and, uh, the block, I, I forget what it was. If it was a mix of aluminum and, and metallic gray. Anyway, um, you know, I had started the car. Um, was scared of the decals and uh, it basically ended up putting the car back in the box. So probably 20 years later, uh, you know, I said, you know what? I never did finish that Ferrari. Opened up the box, saw the red, lightly sanded it, uh, put the decals on because by this time I'm, you know, I'm comfortable with decals. And uh, I believe it's probably TS-13 over it. But again, like I said, it's pretty much, you know, it's box stock except for, uh, I was going to say the wires there, but those those come in the Tamiya kit. Uh, I don't know what the dog's howling about, but uh, something if you heard him in the background. Um, anyway, um, that's about it, guys. Just wanted to kind of do this week's uh, Throwback Thursday, show it to you. There's the bottom, didn't show that to you before. But uh, like I said, started it at one point in my life, and... Uh, like I said, put it in the box and took it back out of the box. Like I said, it probably no exaggeration, at least 20 years later. I'm going to have to use both hands to kind of press that down on there. Uh, it's a snug fit. But uh, anyway, guys, y'all know the routine. Thumbs up, thumbs down, questions, comments. Enjoy interacting with y'all. Tomorrow's Friday. Uh, so everybody have a good weekend and God bless. All right, guys. Mike out. Bye-bye.